I, it's very simple. I mean, I, I do it because I have to. I've dreamed about public dancing ever since my mother took me to see Nancy Walker in Gypsy at the Pasadena Playhouse. I'm a feminist. start out a public dancer. I have a degree in nuclear science from MIT. My work is interesting. It's important. I could sit at a super collider and smash atoms all night long, but nobody really appreciates us. Nobody whistles. Nobody cheers. Nobody buys you a drink. And I'd almost forgotten all about that dream until I saw that documentary about strippers on HBO. About 10. Have you seen those girls at scores? They're so beautiful. And my boyfriend, Sammy, he works at Show World, and he said that with the right lighting and makeup and wigs and stuff, that I could be just as beautiful as them. <laughs> he says Elizabeth Barkley isn't even that pretty up close. Beats the naked cowboy in Times Square. Oh, it's basically what we're looking for. We're looking for girls who are about, uh, say, between 5'7, five, 5'10. Five, uh, you should be, you can have brunette, blondes are good. Uh, you can have red hair. If you have freckles, you better have red hair. Why won't they hire me at scores? I think it's obvious. I'm an independent girl. They look at me and they say she's doing her own thing. Oh, oh, there's there's definitely a prejudice in the stripper industry against street strippers, you know, because they like to typecast you, they pigeonhole you, they say, oh, you're you're a street stripper, you're a street performer, you know, you're too alternative, you're too uh, too edgy, you know, you, you wouldn't work on the main stage, and that's a shame because. We're the ones that are pushing the envelope, and we're, we're the ones that are doing all the fresh and new and exciting things. But at the same time, we keep going back to our roots. Yeah, I consider myself a street performer, a street stripper, although I was inspired by that documentary on HBO. I don't know, it has a certain je ne sais quoi I find refreshing for my commute. I hear men are trying to get into it, too. You, you know, I don't have to explain this. I mean, it's enough that I get out in the street and I dance. People want to stop that. They want to keep a guy like me from, you know, liberating myself, showing my body. I know I'm not as sexy as those chicks who do it, but what, I'm not allowed? I mean, but you know what? I'll make a stage. I'll find a stage. And that's not such a bad thing. You know, I, I could pop anywhere. I could... I could, you know, pop it out here, you know, do a little. I've got a few regulars. This one fellow brings me flowers, and this other older gentleman, he comes to my show every Sunday. And he doesn't even drink coffee. I also enjoy the double identity. As a nuclear physicist, I'm plain old Candy Jones. But as a stripper, I'm D. Oswald Rathbone. I consider myself a 
postmodern burlesque artist, I suppose. I do a variation, an updated version of Sally Rand's famous fan dance. Uh, I call it my fan dance for the 21st century, you know. You know the old gas stations back in the old days, the service industry used to have attendants that looked trim. They had good uniforms. They would come up and they'd they'd take care of you. They've lost that nowadays, you know. And we we like to think of ourselves as a good old '50s gas station with tits, big tits, you know. Nothing sells like tits, tits and gas. I can't believe I finally get to audition for Rod Blake at Show World. It's the coolest job in the whole world. You're up there on stage and you're wearing these beautiful, sexy outfits and everybody's so into you. <sighs> I wanted to see that HBO special on strippers, but my cable got cut off. A lot of people have this need to show their body, you know, and uh, I always had a fear. I had a lot of shame of, of, of my body. I mean, it. At one time, my body was a Ferrari. Uh, now it's, you know, kind of an old clunker. It's like a van. Um, I dance. I dance because I want to connect with the world. I certainly couldn't retire on the tips, but science pays the bills anyway. I guess it was all right. I didn't even get to do the whole song. That's how they call me. Or... Sammy says these girls can only work for like four or five years. Tell that to HBO. Dollars. Even American Express will do nicely, thank you. 